Okay, this is a very serious message. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And nobody can come to God but by Him. You see, narrow is the road that leads to life. And broad is the path that leads to destruction. You see, Jesus loved the whole world. God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through Him. Whoever believes in the Son is not condemned, but whoever does not believe in the Son is condemned already because they have not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation that light has come into the world. The men love darkness rather than light. They did light. And because their deeds were evil. You see, Satan tries, tempts you, because if you, if Satan came as the way he was and, and enticed you to do something that he was doing, you wouldn't obey him. So he has to tempt you with the temporary pleasures, these vain pleasures of this world, to entice you to do the things that he does so that you fall under the condemnation of God. You see, we're created in the image of God. Satan cannot harm us, but you see, what when you do drugs, when you do alcohol, when you do pornography, when you do uh, go after somebody to have sex with them, you see, outside of marriage, and uh, you know, you, you steal something, you lie, you know, those things show that you dishonor God and you dishonor your character. But you see, those things bring us temporary pleasure in this miserable world that Satan has created. So you're, you become a slave of Satan so that you, you under no condition do you want to be a slave to Satan, but you do. Or Satan tempts you that he's a good person, but he's truly not. Satan is a liar, and that's why he tells you to trust in yourself. Oh, to trust in your own heart. Because uh, if you trust it in him literally, you'll find out that he's a liar very, very easily, very, very fast. And so that's why I'm out here today to warn you that the wages of sin is death, that he who believes in the Son shall see life, but he who does not believe in the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God remains upon him. See, Jesus offered forgiveness at the cross, but you must accept that forgiveness. You see, because pride goes before destruction. A haughty spirit goes before a fall. We can't be prideful when we come to God. We must be humble. We must be open to the calling that God has for our lives. And this is what Satan has believed, that it is being the true self. But no, it is not being the true self. No, it's being who God called you to be in this life. Because we're after, you see, and the thing is that Asian violence does not happen because of the gospel of God. It does not happen because of the Bible. And so hate happens because of sin. Hate happens because of sin. But you know, if you look at the statistics of the Asian community, you know, 50% of uh, all Asian communities are Christian. Okay, 50% of all Asian Americans are Christian, and 25% of them are born again evangelicals who are on fire for God, who love the Word of God, who believe that there's a literal heaven and hell, and that they should take the Bible at face value because it's infallible and inerrant. So you think that, that, that by taking away Christianity, somehow you're helping the Asian community. No, you are not. You're actually destroying it. You're actually making those people have an excuse for trusting in their false religion. You know, many people trust in a religion to excuse them, to have an excuse for continuing to live the lifestyle that they want. You know, one time I asked the homosexual person, um, I shared with them the uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 9 through 11, and they said, well, I respect your faith, but that's your faith and I am mine. You see, do not use faith as an excuse to continue practicing your sin. Buddhism is not an excuse for you to continue of your sin. See, if, reincarnate, if I was wrong and reincarnation was right, you know, I come back as some bug or something, there would be no severe consequences. 
But if I was right, and if there was a literal eternal heaven and hell, and you couldn't get out of hell after you died, you know what? And I happen to be right, and you happen to be wrong as a Buddhist, you have very severe consequences. Because once you're in hell, you're never going to get out. Turn and repent. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Jesus Christ is coming back soon to judge the world. He's not going to come back a second time to have mercy on this world, but to judge the world. It is very serious for you to be made in right standing with God. It is very serious for you. And that's why I'm out here today. Because, you know, by the terror of the Lord, we persuade men to depart from evil. You know, the thing is that if you're a Christian and you're practicing sin, I have this commandment for you. Let everyone who names the name of Christ depart from evil. You must depart from evil and turn to the true source of life. You know, if you don't have Jesus Christ as your life, you don't truly have a life. You know, the devil can offer you everything, the whole world, the riches of this world, if you worship him. But at the end, you lose your soul. You're like the person in Luke 13 who stored up all the riches of this world. But after he died, he lost his soul. Jesus says, what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world but loses his own soul? What can a man give in exchange for his soul? It is very serious. Repent. That's why John the Baptist's first message before Jesus, right before Jesus arrived on the scene 2,000 years ago was no busy church message. It was repent, get right with God, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Very serious. Jesus is coming back soon. Trust in him today. Turn away from all evil. You see, the heart is desperately wicked above all things. Rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and uh, stubbornness is as the sin of idolatry. Now, I used to be a practicing homosexual. I used to be in the New Age movement. I used to watch pornography three or four times a day. And when God showed me the Bible, I got offended at God, and I ran away from the conviction of my sins. So God showed me hell. And when I was in hell, it was a horrible place. But the thing is that I knew that I deserved to be there because of my sins. So I repented, I turned to God. But one thing after that was that, you know, I needed to give up my dreams for the sake of pursuing God. See, I, I became the most popular kid in my class because I was a radical homosexual activist. See, I used to love gay porn, but you know, but when I read the Bible, I got convicted of my sins, of my sins of lust that was in my heart. And so I got offended. I turned away from God. God, God showed me hell, but you know, when God shows the bad side of him, it's also showing the good side of him. Because it's showing, you see, because when Isaiah encountered the holiness of God, he said, woe is me, for I am a man of unclean lips. He acknowledged his own righteousness. He had the conviction of sin. And when God, you see, when I was a new ager, you know, when I used to believe that all roads lead to God, that all roads lead home, I used to believe that those, you know, I, I used to, only promote the good side of the New Age religion. But, you know, as a Christian, I could present both the bad and the good side of my faith because I know that my faith is true from deep down within my heart because the Spirit, because I have the assurance of my salvation. You know, and so I used to believe as a New Ager, you know, I hated Christians. I thought that preachers that said that Jesus Christ was the only way to God was very intolerant. But the thing was that I wasn't taking the speck out of my own eye before I took out the speck out of another person's eye. Because when I used to believe that all roads led to God, that all roads led home, that everybody after they die would go to a better place, you know, the thing was that I wanted everybody to believe the same things that I did. And I wanted everybody. And I thought that all roads lead to God. That philosophy was the only right philosophy, was the only right view of spirituality. So I was as narrow-minded as those who, who believed that there was only one way to God. So uh, repent, know you're standing before God, turn before it is too late. Trust in Jesus before it is too late. Turn to Jesus today. Amen.